gentlemen, this is our first tournament finals bout of the evening, and it features three rounds in our middleweight championship division. The winner moves on to fight the Wisconsin State Champion, Whisper Goodman. Introducing first, this man fighting out of the blue corner. He stands at 5 foot 11 inches tall. He weighs at 185 pounds. He represents the Chicago fight team. In eight professional contests, this man has six victories. Four of those victories come by way of knockout. Hey, His opponent is this man fighting out of the red corner. He is an MFS elite fighter who has a professional mixed martial arts bout 18 victories, 7 defeats, 12 of those victories come by way of knockout. He stands at 6 foot 1 inches tall. He weighed at 185 ready pounds, representing the quad cities chase. The right here we go, get their final instructions. Luak, a 15 and 7 record. Taylor, a 6 and 2 record. I'd say Luak's the favorite here, but uh, you never know. We'll see what happens. Oh, Taylor is a big man. Big man, Strike Force veteran. Uh, you know, he's fought some tough fights in those. You know, Joe Riggs in Strike Force. Joe Riggs with the third round of Joe Riggs. Absolutely. Diesel. And uh, there's Taylor, looks pretty diesel tonight. Yeah, he's a big boy. I can't believe how huge he is for 185 pounds. Let's see if that plays into it at all. If, uh, you know, it takes a lot of oxygen to fuel those muscles. Yes, it does. That's one of those things where is it better, is it not better? Got a couple guys feeling each other out here, Lenny. Trying to get the timing and that distance. And the winner of this will fight Wisconsin's Whisper Goodman. At 185 pounds, Wisconsin's Whisper Goodman after beating Gerald Marshall. Decisively, yeah. Uh, Decisive, very fast. Interesting on uh, Taylor's shorts, there's mostly these pictures of his family. Yeah, that's a family man there. He's a scary looking guy, but uh, apparently he's got a big heart. It's going to take a big heart to feel all that muscles out and pump that <laughs> oxygen in that blood. He's a big man. What a feeling out process Let's here. Let's see what happens here. I think we're looking for some serious striking here pretty quick. I think both guys looking to probably tone a strike. Maybe the other guy to engage. That was a kick. Yeah, we walk. Oh, Taylor goes for a fast shot. Gets him on the ground. And he's on top of him here. Ends up in the half guard. Oh, against the cage, too. Big guy on top of you. He'll be up against the cage up. Oh, no, that's his back. Still on one. Moving fast for a big guy. Oh, no. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Tough. We're up doing the right thing now. now. Absolutely. Oh, some short, short, tight punches there. Enough just to irritate somebody. He's doing, I think, good posture control here. Because I would not want uh, Taylor to posture up and start raining down some of them heavy, heavy fists that he looks like he possesses. It almost looks like Lua could scoot out the side here. Taylor's just content, kind of staying on top here, looking to pass, being real careful. He's got an experienced opponent, you know. He made one mistake, and, you know, the fight could end. So, being real patient here. Heavy on top. Good base. Both fighters looking real calm here. Bounce off the canvas when he hit him with that. Big hands from Taylor. Not quite past that. Like, you know, still, still controlling him here. You know, I think he might have got rocked there, and he's doing the right thing, kind of recovering here. It take a lot to control a posture of a big guy like that. Oh, raining down some leather. 
Oh, he's heavy. Yeah, both Damn. feet in here. Oh, up kick. Keep the pressure on him, Letty. Keep the pressure on him. Seems to be moving. Ooh, up looking like... He's content laying there, doesn't he? He wants to quite get back to Oh, oh over the top one. again, yeah. Most definitely. Oh, goes for a guillotine. Oh, it looks, yeah, oh, looks tight. It is tight. He's doing the right thing, though. Super strong guy. Wow, just rolls him right over. Right back in the cross side. Literally flipped him over. Absolutely. Super strong. My goodness. Oh, knee. Right to the back of the ribs. Oh, right over the full mount. Yeah, Taylor, the guy with the less experience here, is showing some very impressive technique. Yeah, he is over the top of uh, Luak here and definitely taking some damage as Jason Luak. So he's trying to fight out of it, though. He hasn't given up. And at this level, you wouldn't expect the guy to. Uh, you know, you're going to see him, you know. Oh, oh man. Oh, back to his feet. Back to his feet. Exciting. Both guys coming in, looking to engage. Yeah, Lewis Taylor, though, his arms look like they are a little heavier than they were at the beginning of the fight. He's not quite breathing. He's bending over almost. He looks pretty tired. Jason looking comfortable, man. Yeah, looking fresh. I don't know if he's uh, tired himself and just, well, he's looking like the both fighters are trying to regain and get their composure back and uh, maybe implement their game plans again. Oh, a couple heavy strikes from both fighters. Yeah, they're leaning forward. Chin. It looks to me like Jason's just going up the right. He really wants to go right up. Right, I think you can see that Taylor's got his hand up. Shoots back in for a takedown. Another takedown for Taylor. And he's strong. Picks it up. Now we got a guillotine attempt from uh, Lua. And, and that's, that's him. the end of the round. Oh, what an exciting round. Up and down, back and forth. Two big guys going at it. Wide open. Who'd you give that round to? I had to give that to Taylor. He's on top. Controlled Lua most of the most of the time. You know, Jason Luak didn't give up, kept fighting, and uh, he's a little fresher than me right now. Lewis Taylor looks like he, uh, he needs someone to rub the lactic acid out of his muscles. Yeah, well, you got Jason in the red corner in the red trunks. You've got Lewis Taylor in the blue corner in the blue trunks, both of them getting their instructions from their corners before they go back into this battle and uh, try to fight for that position, that number one position in Illinois, and the chance to fight your teammate, Whisper Good. It'll be a tough fight for you, then. Whisper Goodman. Super strong. Be a great matchup. Both and a great, great fight. Either I think one. It's clear that Jason wants to strike. Taylor's trying to do some down and pound. We'll see if that uh, implement. If they both implement that. Uh, which one of them implements their game plan, Lenny, is what I'm trying to say here in this next round. Absolutely. I think that uh, Luak is definitely needs to stay up off the ground with Taylor, not on top of him. He's a big boy to be on top of you. Now we'll see how Taylor's gas tank is shaking Absolutely. his arms. He is shaking his arms out still. We'll see if he slows down or if he keeps his pace. It will tell a lot about Lewis Taylor. We'll see if Luak now, you know, if I was Luak, I'd be coming at him hard, you know. He comes out a little, looking a little tired, arms down, you know. Come back at him hard. We got some tape off that glove there on Jason. I'm sure the ref's going to stop him here to get that off very soon. That would be the right thing to do because you don't want that getting uh, inhaled or caught in an orifice or wrapped around a finger or something, and, you know. Causing a weird stoppage to a fight. Yeah, a lot of bad things could happen from that situation. I'm sure he's just uh, going to take it out. Oh, he sees Pepper not jab for a shot. Oh, and a hook, though. And a hook over the top. Luak looking to counter strike, and I think that's why he's not attacking Taylor. Because when Taylor came in there, he uh, Luak did throw the hook over the top. Definitely looking to counter. Oh, oh right kick attempt, and then a straight oh, flying knee attempt there. <laughs> right into the Luak. Punch. Which is probably not where he wants to be right here, though, Lenny. This is like grabbing onto a grizzly bear and wrestling him. And uh, <laughs> yes, it is. the only one that I would know would want to do something like that would be uh, Jackie Moon. <laughs> no, Taylor, no, little, no knees, really. Looking to uh, outside trip. Ah, and, oh, there's a knee from Luak, though. Well, the inside is, there, another oh, one. Now he's looking to grab, oh, grab the double still. Two underhooks here, definitely tough spot for Luak up against the cage with uh, Lewis Taylor holding on to him. Looks like he's definitely trying to block the knees, but uh, Taylor's not really throwing, which is maybe why. Taylor kind of just holding on here now, waiting to explode probably into some kind of takedown. Or... Maybe those arms are just burnt out like you were talking. Looks dropping down. He's not dropping down in the shot, though. He's just kind of reaching down. It's hard to pick something up like that. Oh, a hook on the way out. 
Break out of the clinch, land a left hook. Arms looking heavier and heavier, but uh, it's still up. It's still up. Luak, though, kind of back on his heels, you know. Not a lot of movement, flat-footed. Oh, nice, nice. Big sweep. Jason in the red trunks. Lewis in the blue trunks. Clean step again, outside trip. Taylor on top again. Not where Jason wants to be. Yeah, absolutely not. Trying to control his posture, but this is like, man, holding on to a slippery eel. You know, Taylor's a little sweaty now and super strong. Couldn't imagine trying to hold on to him. some type of uh, special gripper glove or something, you know, Adam? A special gripper glove? Are those allowed in uh, mixed martial arts? Absolutely not, which I think why is uh, Luox having such a hard time here now. Yeah, he left his at home. Sure, he brought him, but the uh, referee auditorium uh, did not allow him to bring those in the fight. Oh, big strikes. Apparently, those arms are not too <laughs> heavy now. Know, they might have rested him up and they are ready to go now. Looking to. Oh, did you see the fake? <laughs> he faked. He looked off to the side, made Jason look to see what he was looking at, and then came in with a strike. Very, very impressive. Very, very those hands are landing heavy, folks. I don't know if you can hear that at home, but he is landing some heavy, heavy leather. What size are those? Can't Another say gloves. Jesus. Those are uh, official regulation. Those are regulation gloves. Yeah. Must be like three X or something. <laughs> big, big hands. That's the size of uh, Luox's face. Big hands, big gloves. I don't think I'd want to get hit with that, Adam. How about you? No. No, I'd leave that up to you guys, Lenny. Now Taylor, you know, still he's calm on top. You know, Luox the one that he needs to uh, get out of here. He's going to be down two rounds of one here pretty soon. Yeah, there can't be a whole lot of time left and I'll tell you what, uh, he's going to do something to at least win this round. Another big left hand right in the face. That's another left blow from that, from that man, side control now. Yeah. Great wrestling by Taylor. Yeah, he keeps it tight. Delivering his knees to the ribs. Oh, heavy, heavy knees. There's a big knee, Adam. Knee on stomach. Oh, nasty move. <laughs> Cups the chin and the twist is heavy. They had no choice but to move that way. Short elbows to the ear. Lewis Taylor is not looking too gas to me. I, mean, I think he's cool this all. He seems to be the king of fakes, Mr. Taylor. Absolutely. He's very, very, very good. As the crowd's chanting his name, he is pounding this guy. Oh. Oh my god, what happened? Well, Torero what stops happened? the fight. Why was the fight stopped? Is that a solution to the strikes? He may have tapped. I didn't quite see it myself. Hopefully. He's giving him a hug, so there's no, uh, he's not contesting it at all. Definitely. Looks like he may have tapped at him. A tap strikes one thing I did not expect, but I gotta say, with hands coming down that heavy, I can understand why. There comes a point, you know, these, sometimes the guy just feels that he uh, can't advance his position further, and, uh, you know, definitely not out of fear or anything, but, you know, maybe just protecting himself, uh, thinking that, you know, maybe you May have given up mentally already and thought the referee would have stopped it and just couldn't take any more. But this could be some underlying factor here. You don't know what's going on. In that guy's head. Right, it could be anyone. But yeah, looks like the result is going to be a uh, tap to strikes. Loose down, looking strong right to the finish. Definitely. Nobody uh, rubbing those arms like I call that. Uh, I apologize to Lewis Taylor for saying that. I think he was uh, faking. I hope he uh, doesn't watch this and see what I said. Well, you can expect, uh, you know, I don't think what you said is fine on the base. I mean, the guy that that big, that's what you would expect out of him. But apparently his conditioning is uh, every bit as impressive as his muscular build. Yeah, he is not breathing hard right now or nothing. No, he looks great. Yeah, he's vascular too. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Scary looking guy. He's just a beast. We're going to see this guy fight Whisper Blue. Two action figures. And now moving on to face Whisper Goodman in the finals, your Illinois State Champion, Lewis Hamburg Taylor. All right, handguns, come on over here. All right, so tell us a little bit about the fight. It seemed like you got a little tired at the end of the first round, but seemed to recuperate in that second. Take top control and really end the fight quickly with strikes. Was that your game plan going in? Uh, you know, it's been like eight months since I fought. You know, it may seem easy to y'all fans, but it takes a little bit of rain timing. So I'm sorry I didn't let the handguns go, but come see me and Goodman while we'll let these babies fly. Well, 
Let's, let's welcome Whisper into the cage. Whisper, I know he's here. Can you come on in? Uh, what do you know about Whisper Goodman? Have you seen him fight before? Uh, how do you feel moving on to face uh, an athletic fighter like Whisper? Hey, he's a tough fighter. I respect him. But the real best in West Coast is Joe, and that's who I'm trying to get to next season. Whisper, all right, handguns just show you a little disrespect by saying Gerald was better. What do you think of uh, handguns fight here tonight, and how do you think your fight's gonna go in July? Uh, I think my hair goes on the week one, you know, from July 16th, uh, time to tell. Hey, some humble words from our champion, Whisper Goodman, and now our new champion, 